The action was a 6 out of 10. Uh, there wasn't that much action in it, and when the uh, choreographed fights were in it, it wasn't that great. A lot of people like to say that it was better than the uh, Christopher Nolan movie when it comes to the choreography, of course. And no, it was a little bit better, but it wasn't like a big leap ahead of Christopher Nolan's movies. The pacing was a 5 out of 10. It felt really dragged out. Nothing more I could really say about that one. It was a really long ass movie. Now the cinematography is like a 9.8 out of 10. It is a very, 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 very beautiful looking movie. Matter of fact, it looked just like Gotham. It looked like I literally stepped into Gotham as soon as I started watching this movie. There's nothing really bad that I can say about the cinematography. The music is 10 out of 10. It was an absolute fucking banger. Everything in that movie was really, really good with the music wise. The music fit scenes. It was really good music overall. And finally, we have our own original theme and our original score. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really amazing. The acting is an 8 out of 10. There could be some work done with some of the acting scenes. Like the penguin seemed a little cheesy at times. Uh, sometimes the Riddler, I couldn't really tell what mood or type of thing he was going for it was it was kind of weird but other than that the acting is pretty solid for the most part in this film i think catwoman though was only there to be sexy there really wasn't any legit legit acting i guess and she was only there to be like the uh, sex appeal it seemed like um but yeah she she was all right um so let's go over the pros and cons of this movie the pros of this movie is that it looks very beautiful it brings you into gotham you feel like you're in gotham um, it can be easily rated a rated R movie. It has some amazing music and it's not connected to a whole universe where it kind of relies on other heroes in order to make the movie any better. It's kind of its own grounded thing. It's really realistic and it is a film at the end of the day. It's a very, very, very good film at the end of the day. Now here come the cons. The cons are some of the acting seems a little weird like the penguin. He was just kind of goofy. The movie is very, very fucking long. It's super long. And I wouldn't mind if there was more action in the movie, but there isn't that much action. And when there is action, it's kind of lukewarm. It's not the best. The choreography wasn't as good as everyone's hyping it up to be. The choreography in my eyes is okay. It's, it's not the best. It's better than Christopher Nolan's, but it's not better than Ben Affleck in the warehouse scene. About 70% of this movie is straight up just detective work. And I guess if you're into that, it's fun. But to be honest, I kind of got over it the first hour. I was kind of over all the detective work. There was so much detective work that you barely even saw this man fighting. Like when you did see him fighting, it didn't really feel like it had that much weight to each fighting scene. And you can honestly tell that detective work is this Batman's thing. It's not fighting. Fighting is not this Batman's thing. Now I'm ready to piss everybody off with this next statement that I'm going to say. I do not think it's better than the Christopher Nolan movies. I feel like the Christopher Nolan movies are perfectly balanced between detective work, action, good acting, um, everything, pace, and all that. This movie has a problem with some of those things. So I think the overall answer to what I'm going to say is that, yeah, if you like Batman, you're gonna enjoy this movie. Uh, if you don't like Batman that much, you will get bored. You will get bored, it drags. Um, there are some cool scenes in it, but besides that, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. I give it a seven out of 10.